We've seen a few isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms the past couple of days, and we may see more isolated thunderstorms as we head into Friday. But that rain chance is only going to be at 20%. Much drier air will move in this weekend into early next week. That will curtail any rain chances through Tuesday. Then some tropical moisture will try to move back in as we head toward the end of next week, and that could bring a few more rain chances with it. Right now, it doesn't look too widespread, just about a 20 to 30% chance by then. Drought monitor, brand new today, and you can see it's splotchy across the area with that yellow color. At least we've gotten rid of that light brown color, the moderate category from Meridian, Hamilton, and Goldthwaite. Rain really helping you out there. And I do think that this doesn't encompass all the rain that has fallen over the week. So we'll probably see even more improvement than what you see here. But for early September, this map really doesn't look too bad. And big improvement across West Texas where they had severe to extreme drought. Now only in that dry to moderate category. So a big rain event across West Texas really helping things out for folks there. Rain chances will be going down for our region pretty soon as we do have a little bit of a disturbance here. That's south of Houston. That will eventually start to dive more down to the south and into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, probably not going to become much of a tropical entity, but rain will be closer to the coast and then over into Louisiana. For us, we will see some drier air start to filter into the region as we get into the weekend. So for tonight, again, a couple showers and thunderstorms out there. Anything should die out after sunset as we head toward 10 o'clock. Then as we get into Friday morning, mostly cloudy skies to start off the day, and that's been pretty much what we've seen this week. Then maybe a few isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms on into Friday afternoon as a weak front makes its way into the area. But this should say goodbye to the rain chances as we will likely have drier air filter in just in time for Friday evening. And that means Friday night football, not looking bad out there. And then for Saturday, again, we're looking at a lot drier conditions with mostly sunny skies, northerly winds, and I think your low temperatures, you're going to get a little taste of fall by Sunday and Monday mornings. But for tonight, still kind of muggy out there. Temperatures down into the low to mid 70s, especially along the east of I-35, upper 60s and low 70s to the west. Then tomorrow, highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s, so it will be a pretty warm day out there, but still a little bit below normal normal for where we should be this time of year into the low to mid 90s and looking at your forecast 90 degrees on Friday slight chance for a few thunderstorms gets kind of gusty on Saturday 89 degrees northeast winds 15 to 25 miles per hour that's going to drag in some drier air cooler air as well and look at that Sunday morning 59 degrees Monday morning 57 yeah dropped it even a little bit farther than where I've had it so it's going to be looking a little fall like during the mornings but still Kind of warm in the afternoon, 86 on Sunday, 87 on Monday, but feeling comfortable without any humidity. Then upper 80s to near 90 as we head through next week and maybe a few showers and thunderstorms by the end of the week. And looking at the Brazos Valley, a couple of thunderstorms out there for Friday and 88 degrees, 90 degrees on Saturday, back down to 87 Sunday and Monday with lows at night getting into the lower 60s. Then some of that moisture gets a little bit closer and we should have a highs in the 80s and lows back in the 70s with a couple of thunderstorm chances Wednesday and Thursday.